Hold. 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 This is the easiest shit I ever had to do in my life. Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Mike. This large man here with the salmon on, Jared Feather, IFBB Pro. We have a, we have a problem, we have a problem, and you have a similar problem. You want big delts desperately more than anything in your life, obviously, and you only have one barbell and a couple weights laying around. How could you possibly do a holistic, total delt, smash, grab, destroy, pillage, plunder, pause. You know like when the Empire comes to New Planet, the Galactic Empire from Star Wars? 20 years later, they finish that ish off, they have none left. That type of shit to your delts. Is that even possible? What do you think, Jared? You are a long time service of the Empire. Not without optimal exercises and correct joint angles. Wow. Spoken like someone who wants the galaxy to be crushed with an iron fist. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, folks, so a super, super common problem in shoulder training is that people like to have their egos drive their shoulder training instead of a specific look at what the aesthetics of shoulder training really demand. Almost all of the work you'll ever need for front delts, but a small part can come from pressing for your chest and triceps. So a lot of people will start with dumbbell presses and then go to machine presses and then do some laterals and do the mail-in rear delt shit afterwards. We're gonna do the opposite because the front delts on people are almost never the lagging problem. Big rear delts, man, I'm telling you, I was at the beach once and I had like super pumped rear delts and this girl walks by the table, I was there with my wife and she's like, she looks at my wife, she's like, I, I don't need to do this, but like, can I please have some kind of physical relations with your husband's? And I was like, uh-uh, and she's like, rear delts only, the rest of them is disgusting. In any case, I almost got laid, which is sweet, and you could get full on laid if you have big ass rear delts, huge side delts, and look, you already have pretty big front delts, for how big the other delts on your body are in most cases. So because we're gonna do the most cases, Jared's first exercise is going to be a superset of boot over barbell face pulls, really rear delt specific, to upright rows where the rear delts are involved. So it's the rear and side delts hit first. Then we move on to another exercise that might hit a little bit of the side and front delts. And then our last exercise for this workout is gonna be something that ties it all in together and is brutal. And it doesn't mean you go heavy, but goddamn, it's gonna feel terrible for your delts in the best way. Let's do it. What the fuck? <laughs> I like to fuck You're with a Jerry fucking idiot. Again. Did you really fucking count five? <laughs> no, bro, I know you hate that shit. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> this don't count. Okay. You're a fucking idiot. Good stuff, let's go. Stable upper body. Beautiful. Good. Good. Two more. You got this. 100%. Yes. One more. Slow it down on the way down. Slow. Yep. Yep. Fuck yeah. Slow. Good shit. I don't have fucking training partners like him. I counted three. Yeah. I successfully have a delt pump. Already? Yeah. But it's just starting. I'm very sensitive to this shit. <laughs> Why? It's coming off contest prep and shit. Yeah, so you're very uh, sensitive to the carbohydrates. Oh, hell yeah. And you're getting big pumps, which is good, which means you're probably anabolic. Technique stuff for the bent over face pulls. So it's a face pull with a barbell. You're gonna wanna bend over, keep a tight core, none of this like rounding back shit. Tension in your hams. You're gonna to get to like a 45 degree angle. Really, it's kind of dealer's choice how low you go. You're not gonna pull the bar into your neck. You could do that, but it ends up being kind of weird for the shoulders. It seems like a more comfy bar path is usually when people come up and try to almost get past their nose and kind of touch their brow ridges. Now, you might not be able to get that high, but it's kind of this arcing motion. And then it's hitting a lot of side delt and a shitload of rear delt. And what Jared is gonna do is stand right back up. Now he's in a mechanically more advantageous position and he's gonna stay a little bit slightly bent road to again bias that side delt and even a little bit of reared up more and then knock out some upright rows. Usually the same weight can get you a decent amount of reps in that first set and then a superset it can get 
Gee whiz, you know, five to 10 in most cases, sometimes a little more, which makes it an awesome superset. You don't want a weight that you do for 15 times here and you come up here and do it once and you're like, that's it. So as misapplied, Jared will take the rest, three sets, sets of 10 to 20 reps, maybe a little uh, a bit higher is a recommendation here. If you go a lot heavier on here, it ends up just being kind of weird for the shoulder joints. You'll go home, you'll cry, your mom will come up and be like, hey, listen, it's okay, it's all right. And you'll be like, mom, you're the best. And she's like, yeah, no worries, man. All right. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Already shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mike, oh, you, you train the least hard out of all of us. <laughs> and you're always like, come on now. No rest, three yeah, seconds, let's go. Typical tough guy shut stuff. Up. I gotta talk a big game because I ain't shit. Fuck. <laughs> When people are family, they fight in a different way. You guys know Jared is my biological son. Of course. Last set, equivalent set. That's good. I don't know why the last set has to be the best set. That's a bunch of nonsense. Like Maybe it's because they know their technique's gonna break down, yes, so they, they gotta say it. Yes, they know it's the worst set. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's all the way down. Three more. Yep. Holy fuck. She was mister. Here's your big delt. Oh! Why does it hurt so bad? Whenever you feel rested, Jared. I think the bar is plenty. Yeah, no shit. So just let me know if that's correct. Yeah, let's cover that. So front raises, if you do it with an easy bar or neutral grip or underhand, and you do them like this, it's almost all front delts. But if you take an overhand grip and you come up and all the way down, it actually tends to be a considerable amount of front delts, but also a bunch of side delts. So that's what we're gonna do next. Jiro's gonna do straight sets. His delts are already pretty cooked. This is the super ROM version of front raises. We go sort of all the way up and all the way down. It's not bad for your shoulders, unless you have female genitalia for shoulders. Not allowed to say anything more offensive than that. Today's political climate. So, um, but real talk, if it feels bad for your shoulders, don't do it. Just stop at a certain point. And uh, you'll notice that Jared's only gonna be doing the bar which is really all it takes at this point. It's a really tough exercise because the leverage is so, so long. So probably three straight sets here and then we'll get into our last exercise after that. Slow. Yes. Oh boy. That hit the spot. Yeah. 12 was hard. A little tip here on the front raises. This part's pretty easy. This part's pretty easy. The part you really wanna demonstrate a lot of eccentric control on is the part from here to here. And that's where you're gonna see most people have more bar speed. It's the opposite of what they need to do. Stable bar speed up, slow, stable. Up, slow, control, faces, expressions, thoughts, up. Slow, yes. <clears throat> yes, two more. Control, <clears throat> gorgeous. Control, <clears throat> oh, yeah, fuck yeah. <clears throat> One more. Big control. <clears throat> yes. Oh, I can't find a comfortable position for my fucking lateral delts right now. Yeah, but biomechanically. You ever think about biomechanics? <sighs> Just think about it. Fuck. All right, folks. Last exercise coming up. 
This is going to be upright rows, but different than before, much less load, just the bar. Mind you, Jared is like 230, 235, 511, IFB Classic Physique Pro, delts all over the map. He's using 45 pounds, so adjust accordingly. Myo reps here. Each set is gonna be just one Myo rep pause. Jared's gonna do a bunch of reps of upright rows, pause for a second, hold the bar in his hands, wait about five seconds and then do as many as he can, which might be two or three. Here's the trick though. He is going to be going to just up above his head, pausing for a split second and then slowly controlling the descent. Coming up quick, pausing, slowly controlling. This type of upright row is totally fine for most people's shoulders. If it's not good for yours, don't do it. No big deal. Just do the regular ones or anything else you want to do. But it will cook your ass, literally. A couple more, a couple more, you got this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, slow, yes. Yeah, this is uncomfortable, holy shit. Side belts, front belts. My side belts. Side belts. Yeah, I literally can't fucking. <sighs> cramping Lost it. in my forearm. Oh, you're cramping. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck. Hey, 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 Ray, just raise your arms up and pretend you have a bar. Go, 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 go. Pause at the top and back up and back up. Good, and back up. Go, hold, and one more. And back up, hold five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, yeah. Woo, that was close. Wow. I got up here, I was like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't let my index finger go. <sighs> one more set. We had to step in and make sure that the myo rep part of that worked out. Jared's forearm cramped, couldn't lift the bar, and I used my quick wits. Anyway, uh, to make sure that somehow we could get that shit going, and I realized he doesn't need his form to just lift his arms, and I also know that after a big set like this, just lifting arms is insanely difficult, so with that shit, managing the cadence and not letting him get to a more mechanically advantageous position down here, kept him up here, that shit is brutal with you. Yes. <sighs> Gorgeous. What do you think? Bonus round. Put the bar down. Pretend you have dumbbells to lateral raise. 45 degrees. Up. Yep. Yes. And slow. And up. Yep. Up. Good. As soon as you touch me, go up. Yes. Three more, Jared. Up. One. <laughs> <sighs> up, two, last one, up, hold, 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 this is the easiest shit I ever had to do in my life, and relax. Ah, oh. man, fuck. <laughs> this may be the biggest your delts have ever been. Maybe. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Let me sum up this workout. Jared's delts bumped into him at the bar like this. <laughs> and Jared's like, Fuck you, dog. You don't want this. And the delts like, Fuck you, bro. I stay strapped. And as soon as they went to reach for that gap, Jared did some like John Wick shit. He's like, <laughs> And everyone in the bar's like, He's already dead. And he's like, Yeah, that's uh, those clips that I unloaded while he's on the ground were that last exercise because I was already fucking toast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're going to jail for a long time. That's okay. I'll you have big, I'll have big delts. Yeah, jail training. Do you guys want to see a jail training video? Awesome. Um, jail program. 
Like the towel shit? Marcos like, has been on us for forever about that no shit? shit. Yeah, he's like, you gotta do jail shit. Shut up, Marcos. The barbell one was nice. This was good. Yeah, yeah. All right. If we do a jail workout, nerd alert, it's gonna be Star Wars universe alien super jail. We like the droop comes out of the wall, that kind of shit. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let us know if you want that shit. Jared, good job today. Thanks, Shane. Uh, vicariously. Thanks for pushing me. Failing and yeah. being hurt through your delts. And failure and pain is what this whole industry is about. Yeah. See you guys next time. Oh, I couldn't hear it. No, that's pretty bad. There are other senses. You should have farted into my mic. I could have been down. Ah, you're right. That would have been awfully close to your face. <laughs>